Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So we're watching those same areas that we watched the beginning part of the season, which is the Gulf of Mexico, also the Caribbean, especially the central and western Caribbean. As we head towards July, we start to look a bit further out into the Caribbean. We also start to watch more of the western Atlantic. But you notice western Atlantic, very strong wind shear up into this region. We've got to have some old frontal boundaries that have been working through there. So those are those types of things that you watch, the old frontal boundaries. Boundaries. If they hang out long enough, you may see something developing along it. But at least for now, with all the strong wind here, a lot of dry air starting to filter in across these areas as well. I uh, just not really going to expect to see anything. Then you look across the Gulf of Mexico, very quiet. You're seeing strong wind here, dry air, and really hardly a cloud in the sky across a good portion of the Gulf of Mexico. Now, this one area that we've been watching for days now, remember last week at one point, the Hurricane Center was kind of highlighting that area and maybe we see some development. Well, that's obviously long gone and that strong wind shear continues through this area as well. So any convection that you see down in this part of the Caribbean just isn't going to do anything just simply because of that strong wind shear. You have a, a little trough that is working its way on toward the uh, west uh, across the Lesser Antilles. Uh, again, strong wind shear in and around this area, not expecting to see anything. And, and then this time of the year out across the eastern Atlantic, just too early to expect to see anything developing that far out to the east. So we'll keep an eye on each one of these areas, though. But you can see there's just nothing going on at this point. So looking at a couple of things here, the moisture content, that precipital water, we're looking at how much moisture is in the atmosphere. There you're seeing some of this dry air across the western Atlantic, some of this filtering over across the Gulf of Mexico, and, and then also more dry air continuing to work its way across the Caribbean. So dry air is not favorable for tropical development, and that's just going to continue to plague these areas as we go through the next several days there you see just more of that dry air working its way across the Gulf of Mexico and then more of it working its way through the eastern heading towards the central Caribbean as we head into the weekend. So you look at the Fox model and you guessed it. There's just nothing going on. Pretty quiet weather, very quiet across the southeast. We'll start to see some moisture returning back across Florida as we head toward the weekend. But other than that, the tropics remain quiet at least for the next five days.